Are there any supplements that offer an edge for fat loss? <laughs> the modern anorectics like Ozempic and Terzepatide, absolutely. Uh, and, you know, for some people, various stimulants, caffeine, a couple of other ones, yohimbine, et cetera, they have a marginal effect on reducing appetite, improving mental clarity and focus. If they don't interfere with your sleep, you can take them. The problem with stimulants is that you uh, develop a tolerance to them quite quickly. When you're ending the diet, which I'd love to talk about as far as how to transition out, because that's super important. When you're ending a diet and you have to manage your stimulant use again, and you maybe come off of them, you get radical rebound hunger. And just, you know, stimulants are just- Oh, because it's suppressing your appetite artificially. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. And so you don't want five monsters every day anymore. You're like, pull out the monsters and you're like, dude, brownies instead. It's tough. Caffeine is like, you know, you have like a, a circuit board with a little nail and you're like giant hammer. And it's like, oh, hit all the other stuff. So as far as real supplements that just straight up work for fat loss, they kind of don't exist. If you have the yohim beans and the other things, they can kind of add a little bit to the thing. It's yohim bean? It's like a, it's an, it's like a stimulant derivative sort of thing. And it has some cool health effects. It burns a little bit of body fat, but this is something that you just don't write home about. It's this teeny little thing. And so bodybuilders will take it. They'll take ephedra. They'll take other stuff and it, it all works.